Hi there, just want to do a few quick updates on Linux on the Legion Go. So one thing that um, I wanted to show off here is that now you could actually remap, like you could use all the back buttons, you could use all the face buttons. Um, like for example, down here, um, this is the Steam button now and this is the quick access menu. So like if I press this, it brings up the quick access menu, press this, brings up Steam. And how this is being done is if we actually go into settings and go into the controller, you can see that what's showing up is actually a DualSense Edge controller. Um, and if you look at the DualSense Edge, it has, you know, all the face buttons, of course, but also there's the L4 and R4, R5 buttons, the back buttons. So if you look here, if you look closely, if I press the buttons, it's noticed that it's actually toggling on and off. So now all the back buttons are usable within Steam Input. Um, once you configure a tool to convert the controller into a DualSense Edge controller. If you want to tap the, the touchpad, this, this button right here is mapped to tapping the touchpad. So if I press it, it maps to the touchpad. The touchpad itself is still not hooked up to the controller yet, which is why it's just showing that dot. But you can now uh, basically use every single face button. Like here's like start select, um, all the, all the, just everything is now working and everything is usable in Steam input, which is really awesome. I should also mention that gyro is working. So if I go into gyro in the advanced settings, you can actually see the gyro is moving and shows up now as well. Um, and as for joysticks, you can actually um, modify the, the dead zones. And then you could see now if I just move it just a little bit, like it shows up. So dead zones can totally be adjusted and um, configured here as well, um, which is very nice. Now, if I go back into the game, um, I could just actually use the back button. So if I go back into like the, the game and go into the controller settings here, like the, the rear buttons are enabled and they're totally usable. Um, which is really cool. Uh, so yeah, so the controller is now fully working. And when I say it's fully working, this does require um, third-party tools. So this isn't like officially in any of the uh, Linux OSs. You actually need to set it up. Of course, it's still a work in progress. Um, there's still development work being done on the, the tool for this, but um, so far it's been working pretty well. Um, I've been gaming on it quite a bit. The next thing I want to show is a sound fix where you could basically um, add in a fix that changes um, how the device sounds. So right now I'm, the, I'm on the default sound, but what we could do is actually change it to this surround effect. And you could already hear like a noticeable difference. This is at the same volume, 100%. And you just hear literally how the sounds sound different. And just to show this again, I'm, I'll show it off in a game real quick. So here, here I have Wind Waker. I'm gonna just start swapping between the sounds. So yeah, this is just a quick look at some of the um, of the latest changes that happened for Linux on the Legion Go, where there's been a lot of progress on the controller, and there's the sound fix as well. Um, and all this will be things I'll cover in a later video on how to set up, because setting it up is a little complicated right now. Um, it will get better. I'm assuming it will get better over time, but the, right now, currently, it's still kind of in a very much in development state. So there's still work to be done to make it easier to install, but currently it is possible to use. So I will upload a video for that soon. Anyways, that's it for me.